Hello again. This is my second video or second part. Um, the first video I showed you how I had used this Hawking High, basically the model was the High Ren 2 Wi Fi booster. How I used that, connected it to the DJI FC40 camera to extend the FPV range of the camera. So in this video, I promised a couple people I would show them how you actually configure the device to talk to the camera so it will work with your phone. So the first thing we need to do obviously is plug in a network cable from the Wi-Fi booster just into the back of your computer or into your laptop. It can be a PC or, or a Mac, doesn't matter which one. And um, we'll go from there. So. Let me set up the camera so we can get a close-up of the screen and I'll show you the actual configuration. Okay, so let's begin. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up a, a web browser. Um, and we're going to log into the Hawking. So fresh out of the box with this thing not being configured it's always going to be the same default address when you just plug from the Hawking into the back in directly into your computer. The IP is going to be 192.168.1.24 and that should take you right into the router. Um, I've logged into this router as a test before I did the video, but normally when you put in that IP address, it's going to ask you for a username and password to get in. And the username would be admin and the password would be 1234 by default. So once you enter that up, you, you will get in this screen. So now that we're in there, what we want to do is we want to turn on the camera here. So we can see that that's starting to activate. It's going. Let me set that there. It takes a second for it to go. And also, let me load up the FC40 app that you download to your phone to be able to see F FPV. Give it a second here. Okay, and there it is. I doubt you can see it, but maybe the FC40 underscore, that's my actual camera. And notice how it ends in a zero. So what we're going to do here is we're going to scroll down, and as you can see here, under the quick setup, this is all you really need to do to set this up. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go right here to SSD. If you leave this checked and you actually connect it to the camera, that's you can actually do it that way, but I actually don't like to do it that way because I want to make sure that everything's activated and running because when you do it that way, it just takes over the same name as your camera. And um, personally, I like to know that I'm hooking up to the Wi-Fi access point. And that, so what I do is I uncheck this. And if you can read here, I, I hope it's not too small on the camera. But the, uh, the number is FC40 underscore S7HVM0. That's the access point name of the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name my extender. I'm going to replicate that. And I'm going to call it FC40 underscore S7 HV M, but I'm going to call it, I'm going to name it a 1. So then when I'm looking in the app later on, 
I'll know that the 1 is my access point and the 0 is actually the uh, camera. So basically once your camera is on you would hit scan and it will scan for all your wireless devices here and obviously as you can see it sees my camera here so we're just going to basically tell it this is what we want to connect to as long as it's showing up there we're good just click, click the connect button and it shows you here that the range extender is going to be that name the uh, source is going to be the camera there so basically hit finish it's basically that easy to do just give it a second here and just so you know once you do this <clears throat> you know you're going to want to make sure obviously everything works if it doesn't you're going to have to reset your range extender because um, once it's configured it no longer you you can't see it with the computer anymore that way because basically the range extender connects to the camera and it's it's kind of a different setup so if you have to go back in and you want to reconfigure or change it there is a reset button right here on the back just hold that in with the power on I think about 15 seconds and you'll you'll start seeing your power light blink on the front and once it's blinking that means it reset and you can actually turn it off and back on so basically I think uh, we're configured so I'm gonna go ahead and switch the camera back and we'll do a little testing We can take this cable out of here and uh, we know it's working Wi-Fi let me see how that's looking in there see that orange light flashing there that means you have a good wireless connection the green is the power and the orange um, is saying yes I'm connected and I'm rebroadcasting a signal now okay. so if we load up the Phantom DJI FC40 or the the app for it we're gonna see this so let me bring that in Hopefully it will and as you can see when I refreshed now it's showing the one and the zero so we know the zero is the actual camera and the one is the access point so let's see if it will do a connect it's saying connecting let's give it a second here and I think it's loading and there it is it's loading and voila we have video you can see got the camera upside down oops so there's the streaming video there's my cool slash by four slash four by four ultimate have to do some videos on that sometime but anyway as we can see actually I hope I had that focus for you that it's working no problem so that does it really um, I found that it works really good I have done tests and I've actually with the extender I've got this thing out to now over 1200 1200 plus feet where I basically can't even see the phantom it's just a little little tiny dot if that and uh, I still get nice steady video and the last thing I wanted to show you before I sign off I'll pull this guy out of here for you is I recommend when using this guy that you use it with the tripod obviously extend it all the way out but for this video obviously I'm going to show you it just collapsed here but and what I do is I simply set up the tripod kind of tighten the handle that you would usually use to swivel your camera and I bought this Dynex here um, I picked this up from Best Buy it's basically just a you, you know a phone holder for your car and basically it comes in a multi-set 
I think it was, I roughly paid like $19, somewhere in there. And it came with the window mount, and it also came with the handlebar mount for like a bike. And it really comes in handy. So all I do is I basically stick that on here like so. Kind of expand it out. Get up here a little. And basically take this guy out in the field. Plug this and plug in the correct. And I put it in there like that. Close it up nice and tight. And I usually have it mounted about just like at that angle. I have the antennas out about like that. And I don't know if you can see the angle. But that's what I found works the best. When it's at that angle, it seems to give me the best range and I don't have any video drops ever. And uh, using it like that, it works fabulous. So really happy with it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, please post below. And if you like the video, please hit that like button. Thanks.